patient is a 62-year-old female with stage 1 sigmoid colon cancer. We show here a video of laparoscopic sigmoidectomy by needoscopic surgery. A 12mm port is placed at the umbilicus for a 10mm scope. A 5mm port is placed at the right lower quadrant and 3.5 mm ports are placed at the right and left lateral and left lower quadrants. India ink injected near the tumor is seen. Medial retroperitoneal dissection of the mesocolon is started. An electric scalpel is inserted through the right lower 5 mm port. The other three ports are all equipped with 3.5 mm forceps. Dissection proceeds cranially. The root of the inferior mesenteric artery is exposed and cut using an ultrasonic device after clipping. Retroperitoneal dissection proceeds laterally. At this point, the left ureter and gonadal vessels are identified and preserved. The inferior mesenteric vein and left colic artery are clipped and cut. The lateral attachment is separated, dissecting the tot fusion fascia and continuing to the median dissection plane. The retal rectal space is dissected. The bilateral hypogastric nerves are identified and preserved. The retroperitoneum at the right side of the upper rectum is dissected, as is that at the left side. The mesocolon is then dissected, exposing the colonic walls just on the cut line of the distal comb. A 5 mm scope is inserted through the right lower 5 mm port and the forceps grasping intestinal clip and articulated type linear stapler are inserted through the 12 mm port for chronic transaction. An intestinal clip is placed at the oral side of the colonic cut line. The angle of the clip can be adjusted using an angle adjuster and the angle of the end linear stapler can be changed as well. After colonic transaction, the specimen is extracted through a small skin incision at the umbilicus up to 35 mm in size, and anastomosis is performed by a double stapling technique. A 90 French drain is placed to the pelvis through the right lower 5 mm incision. The wounds are small and barely noticed on the 25 post-operative day. 